Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Scorpio, this is a collective message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Let's see, what do we have for Scorpio? Show me important messages for Scorpio. What Scorpio needs to know at this time, please. What Scorpio needs to know. Thank you. Okay. Scorpio, someone here is it's it's afraid or have concerns that you don't want them. Okay. And the thing is that you might have a you might have your reasons. So we have perspective. I'm getting very strongly here that you we are connecting in this reading for you with someone who is changing their perspective about this whole situation. It is someone here who um, kind of recognize that they at the time that might have acted in a certain way, meaning sneaky way. I'm getting something like um, this is someone here who might have had secrets. They were manipulative. They were to face. They were telling you something and then they were acting in completely different way behind your back. Lies, secret, deceit. It's, it's, it's involved in this situation. Well, this person here now is losing sleep. And it's like with the commitment, I'm getting that this person wants to, they want to come with an offer of commitment. Okay. Maybe this person wants to date you. Something of this kind. But it's like they are afraid that you, you no longer want them. This is someone who is afraid that they will be rejected by you that you are looking at the same time, you are looking at this whole situation from a different perspective. You know, it's like you, you kind of see this person for who they truly are. Something like this is showing up. You have someone who wants to have uh, like this commitment with you. They want to date you or they want to be in a relationship with you, but they are losing sleep because they are afraid that you don't want them or that you might have concerns about them and actually I feel this is someone who did something and they are kind of convinced that you looked that that you looked at them differently and you might not want them that they did something here they did you wrong or they messed things up let's see show me Scorpio ten of Pentacles well we're starting very nicely very nice we have uh -huh. king of wands ten of wands two of cups okay so we have this relationship that these oracle cards are showing us okay we have an page of pentacles and ten of cups at the bottom of the deck we have the moon you might be dealing with pisces scorpio we have ten 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 hmm. this is someone who doesn't know what's going on <laughs> I, but i feel that they brought so much so much uncertainty and again the moon is this energy of secrets sometimes you know lies are attached to this to this situation for some of you you are in a relationship with this person because we have three cards that represents a relationship ten of pentacles two of cups ten of cups you know you might have a family with this person children might be involved 
But I feel that if that's the case, I'm getting that it's your energy, that you don't know exactly what's going on. It's like maybe you have, uh, you don't fully trust your partner. Because something seems to be like it's a hard work with the Ten of Wands. For some of you, this is like a situation that you both have like a different view about something. I tell you here one thing, Scorpio, you know, if you are in a relationship with this person, okay, for some of you, you might feel that there is some sort of like a outside interference and I'm getting it might be this person's family or relatives. And you might feel, well, everything is fine, it's very well, but you don't trust the situation. And I feel at the same time, your partner here is not fully transparent. It's not that, you know, you might suspect that they are sneaky, you know, that there are, you know, something that this person is hiding, something of this kind. In general, I see someone who wants to be with you, you know, so if you are in a relationship with this person, it feels like they do want to be with you, they love you, uh, they take it seriously, they they love what both of you built together, and it's like this person doesn't want to lose, lose, lose it, but there, you might feel that, for instance, this person, like a member of the family or relatives on their side, uh, they are bringing this kind of energy of um, uncertainty, and I feel that you are not particularly uh, comfortable with that. I'm getting that you, if you resonate with this message, I feel that you love your partner, you care about them, you want to be with them, absolutely. But there is something about their side of the family or relatives that might be kind of, you might feel that they hold some sort of influence over them or they want to please them, you know. And it's like, it's okay, but at the same time, it could it could have been better. For some of you, if you are not in relationship, right, with, with this individual, I'm seeing someone here who really wants to be with you indeed. We have a Ten of Pentacles, we have the Two of Cups, we have a Ten of Cups. They want to build a solid relationship, they love you, they see you as they happily ever after, and they are kind of focused, to, you know, focused they are focused on on kind of uh on this goal to be with you because king of wands it's very yes it represents a person who is um can be very attractive um is someone who is very ambitious very creative but king of king of wands when 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 this energy wants uh, the, it can have a practical plan and in this case I feel that they do have a practical plan that they do want to be with you you have someone here who wants to be with you but it's like they are unsure if you will accept the offer because this page of pentacles it's offer the thing is that it feels like this king of wands male female please take it how it resonates they feel that they have much to that they, they that they don't have much to offer and it's very overwhelming for them because it, it i'm getting here that they truly want to build something stable with you but it's with the ten of wands it's they might have put you in that certain position that you felt that this connection is one-sided and at 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 some point you felt that you were doing all the work well if that's the case they want to change it this is someone here who wants to really kind of appear that they are they means business but with the moon mm, i don't i don't feel that you fully trust this person and this is someone who yes this this is someone who is uh, they it's like they feel that you might have concerns and that you you might reject them. You have someone who wants to be with you, but they feel that you are not fully convinced that it is a good idea. 
Two of Swords. Yeah, crossroads. You might be at the crossroads. It's like a double edged sword situation. Let's see Love Life. Wow. We have the lovers. You might be dealing with Gemini, Scorpio. We have the Four of Wands, Two of Swords, mm -hmm. Six of Wands. Oh my gosh, energy, really. And we have Knight of Pentacles. One more. One more for Scorpio, for Love Life, please. Justice and Queen of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Sun. Okay. Scorpio. You might be dealing with another Scorpio, indeed. This is Leo's energy. So we have Gemini. And we have Libra as well, and also Leo. So we have the Lovers and the Four of Wands. You might be dealing with your twin flame or with your soulmate. This is very strong soul kind of level of connection. The Lovers with the Four of Wands. Yeah, and with the Two of Swords. It's like, I feel, Scorpio, that you might be at the crossroads regarding a certain connection. And the question is, do I want to be with this person or do I want to kind of let it go? Yeah, it feels like, you know, you are at the crossroads. It's, it's a double edged sort of situation. And you might be kind of thinking, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I can trust this person. There is something about the trust here. Uh, I can tell you here one thing about this individual. They are just, they want you and only you, Scorpio. That's it. This is someone who won't change their mind. Uh, they are kind of blocking the prospect of, you know, resigning from it. No, this is someone who really wants you. The love is to the four of wands. They want to be with you. They love you. Um, they want to express this, they want to live with you, they want to um, have family with you, they want to marry you, they want, they want you, and that's it. But I feel that there is something here that is very well, great, but you're at the crossroads. I feel that you're keeping your cards very close to your chest. I feel that you know that this person is very interested in you. They're doing everything to gain your attention. And this is someone who's giving you lots of attention or they, they want to give you lots of attention. But I feel that you want to take this connection slowly. You don't want to rush into things with this, pe with this, sorry, with this Knight of Pentacles because that's the slowest moving Knight in a deck in order to kind of make this connection official with the justice for some of you you might have someone here who is insisting of kind of you know uh, take this connection into the next level uh, meaning you know marrying or being engaged or like being officially together and yeah, you just want to take it slowly you don't want to rush into things Queen of Swords. There is something about the truth. I'm getting that you might know something about this person and you would want them to come forward and to explain something about something, but it's like you want them to want to come forward, to come forward and tell you. It's not like you, uh, I feel that you are coming from the place that you don't want them to provoke the situation, provoke the conversation, mentioning something. You just want them to recognize that there is something here that needs to be addressed. And it's like you want them to want to talk about it. You want them to make the first move 
in order to have this communication. It's like I feel that you want them to recognize that there is a need for some sort of very, very uh, kind of um, honest conversation, heart to heart, constructive and honest conversation with this Queen of Swords because I'm seeing you again. I feel this is like it's very well. Yeah, it's great. They, you know, they want to be with me, but there is something here. They don't want to show me. I don't know why. It's quite odd. <laughs> but I'm seeing here. There's a reason why 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 they don't want to show me this. Uh, I believe. Um, but it feels like you know you are embodying this Queen of Swords energy. It's like we need to talk, but no BS. Because I can spot it very 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 quickly. You need to come with the right manner or that this, this is someone who needs to balance things out with you. They have some explaining to do. And it would make sense actually because we have these cards here and this person feels that you might look at them differently because of what they have done. But I can reassure you here that this is someone who really wants to be with you. I mean, that's it. Scorpio is my person. But it feels like this person needs to come, um, they need to provide some sort of explanation. And for some of you, I'm seeing you uh, not wanting to rush into things because of something that you find out. Or because you feel that this person indeed owes you some sort of kind of explanation. We have the sun at the bottom of the deck. It feels like something here can be healed. This is a very positive energy. So when it comes to your love life, I'm seeing you kind of, a, something will come to light. This is also a card that represents enlightenment. So something here will be understood, will be discussed, and uh, will gain understanding. And also it brings so much happiness and joy, this card. So this is like a positive resolution to this whole situation. I'm getting that this person's actions regard regarding something that you want to get to the something that you might have concerned about and you want to get to the bottom of it uh, will, will will satisfy you with the sun. It, this is someone who will make some sort of effort in order to resolve something or reassure you about a certain re regarding certain situation. So please take it how it resonates. But you have a very positive outcome which represents happiness, joy, fulfillment, you know, love between two people and just being happy with another person. So expect positive resolution to this situation. Show me near future for Scorpio. Show me near future for Scorpio, please. We have nine of wands. Eight of cups. We have the Fool, we have the Star, and we have the Ten of Swords. Very interesting. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So we have a King and Queen. This is an energy of divine counterpart. Indeed, you might be dealing here with your twin flame or soulmate. We have a nine of wands, eight of cups, the fool, the star and the ten of swords.
for some of you Scorpio it feels like you withdraw your energy from that individual with the eight of cups because uh, this is someone who you feel that cannot be trusted with the Queen of Wands, it might be a case that this person at some point puts you in a third party situation, okay? Or they prioritize here something or someone over this connection, meaning family, family member, relative. Again, I was getting that actually here for some of you. Uh, career, finances, um, habits, friends, you know, lifestyle. It can be anything actually, but Queen, of course. And of course, Queen of Wands itself can represent that they decided to entertain someone else. And with the star, and the, this is someone who has who is full of hope that it can be healed. But it feels like something here ended between the two of you. This, this person is afraid of rejection. You have someone here who wants to come back around or who wants to have like a new beginning in love with you with the fool. But I feel that at the very beginning, you decided to kind of maybe distance yourself. You just don't trust this person. And I'm getting that this person is coming here. You can expect in the near future that this individual uh, is going to kind of give you some sort of explanation regarding this Queen of Wands energy. Maybe that's why you kind of see them as sneaky. You know, that's why you feel that, you know, they need to provide you with some sort of explanation. They need to balance things out with you because we have a very, very nice energy, but there is something and I was getting, why is it not showing me? Because, okay, now I can see it. It's like you are not fully convinced that you want this, whereas this person is fully convinced that they want you. But there, there is a strong feminine energy for some of you, it might be indeed a friend that holds influence on this person and you feel it. There's like interference, outside interference or, you know, a relative or this person puts you in a third party or you found out that they, you know, they, they, while they were in touch with you, they were also in touch with someone else, something like this. And with the, with the, with the full, it's like this person wants to be given another chance. They want to like a sp have a fresh start with you, new beginning with you. With the star and the ten of swords, like they want to heal this ending that happened between the two of you. Yeah, I feel that you would draw your energy. You kind of took a step back and mm, I don't trust this. I don't trust this person. But and and it's like. If, if it if because for some of you it might be a case that it never really kind of manifested in a connection but so the ten of swords here would represent them kind of surrounding to the circumstances but it's like with the star they they feel they are full of hope that you know irrespective of where this connection might be at the moment it can be healed you they can prove it to you that you can trust them but I'm getting uh, some sort of kind of influence here with the Queen of Wands. For majority, uh, for majority of you, it might be a case that indeed this person puts you in a third party. They want this new beginning. They're coming. They're trying very hard here to prove themselves. But this is someone who's taking into account that you might indeed reject them. Yeah, that you might have concerns. You might be dealing with Aquarius. I also have Aries energy, okay? Show me the outcome for the near future, please. For Scorpio. We have a King of Pentacles. Yeah, we do have this Queen of Wands. We have a nine of swords, the moon, and a queen of pen, queen of wands, excuse me, ace of swords at the bottom of the deck. So communication, 
conversation, triumph of truth and clarity is showing up here as an overall energy. There is a need for clear communication between the two of you, or honest conversation. You might be dealing with Pisces. This person wants stability with you. They want to be in a stable relationship with you, but it's like with the nine of so this, this is whatever the situation might be. Okay, for some of you, I'm getting very strongly that because if this connection wasn't taken into the next level, um, I'm getting very strongly that um, there was a time that you were, you might have been losing sleep over this third party. I'm getting with the moon and the nine of swords, it's like you just want to know the truth. I'm getting here a lack of trust. That's what I am seeing, especially with the moon and nine of swords. I feel that deep inside you would like to be with this person, create a strong relationship. But this queen of wands, that energy here is the reason why you have your concerns and you don't want to rush into things or you have trust issues. Or again, you just don't trust this person because it's like it's never been fully discussed by this person or uh, this person never fully admitted here something and i feel that you just want them to them to talk about it not like you trying to guide this person you want them to kind of be held accountable for their actions uh, or acknowledge the fact that there is or there was some sort of interference here that affected this connection or it's still like you know like a, like a dark cloud hanging over this 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 relationship or connection in your outcome i see communication with the ace of swords there will be conversation about this situation and i feel that you will just tell this person how they made you feel that you were losing sleep over the situation that they brought so much energy of instability lack of clarity i feel that you will point out that they were lying that they were to face with the moon they had secrets and they caused so much anxiety worry and stress for some of you you would just raise your concerns if you are in a relationship with this person, I feel that you're going to talk about this feminine energy that you might feel that it's holding some sort of uh, influence or it's like the, with regards to this connection. And I feel that you will tell this person that this situation doesn't make you feel happy because nine of swords to the moon, it's, 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 it's not an easy energy. And this is how you might be feeling. And with the, with the, Ace of Swords, I'm seeing you discussing it with this person, that particular energy, this Queen of Wands, in order to gain some sort of clarity and stability in this connection. For some of you, it can be as friend that you feel uncomfortable, that they are, you know, kind of whispering to your person's ear, or maybe a relative, a family member, and you will just raise your concerns. I just say, well, I know you want to be with me, but first things first. It might be because that you had the falling out with this person because of that energy. And now they want to come back around and say that things are different. You know, I see it from a different perspective indeed. But again, you might feel, well, I don't know if I can trust you, trust you with that. There is something about the trust, but this situation will be discussed between the two of you. There will be a discussion, there will be a conversation. And I feel that at the end of the day, you will get to the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. And you will tell them how this situation made you feel. 
so you you will have a chance here to indeed discuss this 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 issue with this person but um you have someone who really wants to be with you like scorpio is my person and that's it that's it i don't want anyone else So you can expect some sort of communication and, and you know, heart-to-heart -heart conversation about this energy represented by the Queen of Wands. Because this is like a center of, of the issue here, I'm getting. But it feels like, you know, there, there, this disconnection will be given a chance to get to the bottom of it and discuss it. And, you know, f and you will see what, you know, f from there, you will see what to do. And I feel that, you know, at the moment, it's like you are protecting your heart with the two of swords. That's what I was getting. It's like you are mm, not quite sure about this whole matter. But after this conversation, uh, something here will be, will, be, will be clarified. And you will get some sort of clarity about the whole situation. Scorpio, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly appreciate you. Scorpio, have a fantastic and absolutely beautiful day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. Love and light. Till next time. Take care. Bye.